The T-Mobile CEO crashed the party of the AT&T uh, CES shindig in Vegas. Now, that's the Consumer Electronics Show, and apparently there is a little bit of a feud between T-Mobile and AT&T at, the, at this moment. There is a little bit of a feud because, you know, they're in competition with one another, and T-Mobile isn't doing as well as AT&T is doing. So John uh, Legere is the person who is the CEO of T-Mobile. He goes to the party, and they find out that he's a CEO, and they kick him out. OK, fun drums. I, I didn't know the CES was this much fun. I, I'm going later in the week, uh, tomorrow, actually. Uh -huh. I can't wait to get kicked out of somewhere. Uh, <laughs> whose party should I crash? Should I crash like um, Sexy Phil's party, and he throws me out? Is Sexy Phil there? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I want to go to the Consumer Electronics Show Should, in Vegas. No, not invited. Sorry, you just got kicked out. <laughs> More drops. All yeah. right, now uh, back to T-Mobile and AT&T. Yeah. So I love that the T-Mobile CEO is supposed to be a bad boy. Okay. Ooh, look at him. He dresses kind of fun. And okay. he also cusses. Wow. He's very naughty. Okay, naughty CEO indeed. And he's been in AT&T's face uh, about the competition, you know? Yeah, he has. He has been. But I, I kind of like it. Of course. Yeah, of course I like fun. that. Yeah, he's fun. He's fun. And I like that he crashed the party. And all, all of a sudden, we're talking about T-Mobile. And now that I know that he's such a colorful dude, I'm considering switching from Verizon, which is insanely expensive, to T-Mobile. But anyway, that's just my own personal drama. And, and look, and look, he, he says T-Mobile is the uncarrier. And he actually did things that the rest of the industry doesn't like. For, so what he means by uncarrier is you don't have to sign a contract. Yeah. Yeah, so let me read you the details about the drums because I think that it's really fascinating and I like this. I think this is an example of capitalism that actually works. This is like the real free market where, you know, there's no monopoly, right? There are a number of companies and they compete with one another. So uh, since T-Mobile and AT&T use similar network technologies, Legere has launched initiatives aimed at luring iPhone users from AT&T to T-Mobile. In an apparent response, AT&T last week offered $200 to T-Mobile subscribers for switching to AT&T. So they're doing all of these like, you know, little like these little strategies to like lure people in, and I love that. Like, l lower the prices, lower the prices. <laughs> <laughs> and look, not having to sign a contract is awesome. Mm -hmm. And look, that's why the industry is, is pissed at Legere because what but what they had in in the past was kind of an oligopoly. There's a couple of big carriers; mm -hmm. they all do the same things. So you're forced into those long contracts. They all win, and we don't. So it's not exactly a free market. Yeah. They're, they're manipulating the market. Yeah. So when he comes in at T-Mobile and says, I'm not going to do that anymore, they're like, wait a minute. You know, like basically, you know, pissed about it. Yeah. Okay, we got to throw this guy out of our party. I mean, we were having fun, you know, screwing over the, our customers, and this guy wants to create competition. What's wrong with him? Exactly. I love the competition. It's great. By the way, uh, I know we're going to get uh, responses about Credo Mobile. I know Credo Mobile's better. I've just been really lazy about switching over, so please don't judge me. Okay, no judging here. It's a no judgment zone. Go Credo Mobile. Yes.